<sighs> well, today's topic, a sad one, but it has to be a little bit on the knowing side. I just came back. I was waiting. Yep, waiting. Remember when I was waiting, I watched Bob video. Yeah, you know Bob. Well, now he claims that lately all the stones we've been having. It's time from God of his coming. Well, Bob, we've been having bad hurricanes and all that for millions and millions of years. You know, and it's well, it's up to me. Trying to take my just nuts. And, you know, earthquakes and this and that. And, you know, nothing happened. The only reason why our world got bad now is because we've been polluting. And that's the sign of, to me, for me, that we are polluting up there too much, and that's why we got bad weather. That's the only sign I see. I see you, Square. So, what's your point? Because the last couple of videos, the signs are coming. Look, and big tether hooking, and then there's another one, and then there's a. What are you being, Bob? It's, it's a natural uh, thing that always happens at this time. And you, you, you're telling everybody that's a sign from God? Oh, come on, Bob. It, it's one of those things that I laugh and pity at the same time. And, um, the reason I, I, I laugh and pity at the same time is people like you have been telling us every big storm is a sign of God and end times. Oh, God is coming in the clouds. Wait a second. Now, I know that's in the Bible. But I thought the picture was the day God comes in and Jesus comes through the clouds. I thought it would be a nice sunny day when we all lift up to heaven. Not a rainy, rainy miserable day. Oh, well, it's a sign that bad times are coming. But I think the big snatch is that people say. But, Jesus in the coming of the cloud won't be a miserable storm. Be a bright, beautiful, cloudy day. <sighs> yeah, Jesus in the storm cloud. That sounds like uh, uh, lyrics to some song. But the whole point of this bomb is why are you saying right now? Any weather report, any news thing, any national occurrence that always occurs because Earth is still going like this in some area, like in Mexico, and you think the slipping of the plates is a sign of God. Uh, I know they mention it because what type of national suggestion what's happened during the time of the Bible and now. Nothing have changed, Bob. When God come in the big stone will cover the whole one end of the United States right together. Everybody will have that stone at the same time. Not one little area. Yes, that's a small t sign, but it's a big sign with everybody looking for, Bob. It's a big motherfucking many country storm. Then we know how mad God is and ready to do the last day. Not an earthquake here, not a tornado there. No, 
I know this is an earthquake system. And you pin the word of God to that as a sign. <sighs> um, the Bible is not in detail in well casting. We don't know what, how cloudy and what type of cloud that Jesus will come. Jesus will, and we know, come in the night. Wait, cloud on the night day for the day of people. So it's good. And you know, taking one, one small, oh, couple of small. Yes, there are signs. But the sign I'm looking at is a global sign. Listen, Bob, global, not an area, a global, like a global fanning, a global heat wave, a global storm. That is the sign I'm waiting from from God, a global sign, because when he's saying it, I'm going to give you a sign, I'm going to give you a big Fucking sign in your face as a global sign. Okay? Not a local one or a couple of them hitting the same spot. No, that's not global. Today with the news, yes, it's global. But it's affecting some people. Not many. When God in the end time is true, it's going to affect everyone. But today, you know, I got a little wane and I went out to get some butter. And thinking of what Bob have said. I'm waiting for the global sign. The sign that scares everybody shitless to pick up the Bible. I know we got the mass media and you know, so forth. And people are caring for the six and the angel in these stones. It's a sign that people do take care of other people at time in need. But I think God would think in his whole planet, not one small. It's not detailed in the Bible. But with all the big, huge stones that cover big, huge areas, bigger than Folia, yes. A plan of life. Something that people, all people, all of us can say, yes, that's in my, in my book. Okay? That's the sign I'm waiting for. The sign you think is in the Bible somewhere. Well, it says there, but... <sighs> with all the uprising everything that the news and the news all that says right on our daily sign to believe in God and Jesus. Do we need a big stone? Well no. I just turn on the T V to the news or go to the news feed here on the internet and look of all those signs of people killing other people, people robbing other people. That's the daily sign God is putting on that we have in the end time. Because when he said tribulation, he meant more than bad weather. He meant us be misbehaving and all that. All of us. Even you, Bob. Okay? That's right there. A sign that's going bigger and bigger every time you turn on the bloody news. Okay? Bigger. Whoa, is bigger than any big storm that you think is a sign from God. Whoa, it's a better sign. And with the North Korea is gonna get mad and throw nuclear at us, that is a more serious sign from God than any fucking tornado. Right now, you should focus the sign, your sign, at North Korea. Because, you know, today they're going to fire some wackers and South Koreans are watching them read too. Sign the world is the ultimate time of toughness 
and candy and all of that. Okay? It probably will happen during a bad day to someone like Lady and so forth. Okay? It's not in kind of like all in detail words. We just get bits of it in the life. Okay, Bob? Don't put dots. I see my time is ending. And remember, Bob, wait for the big sign to come. It's there. It's not the web. It's North Korea. North Korea could do damage more than any... Yeah, okay. Okay? Well, I better go.